mere short cut to the stage became an odyssey, and the blues man in the red suit took a wrong turning. Disaster. Yeah, we've gone the wrong way, I'm afraid. Hopelessly lost, and the 60 second walk through the blue pot took six minutes. At times, he never felt more like singing the blues or something. <laughs> Close to exhaustion, the bluesman finally stumbled into the most famous band room in the country, and the gig got underway. Yeah. Yeah. Junior's blues ain't got nothing to do with cotton fields. He's an urban bluesman born in Chicago nearly 60 years ago. He likes the tag musician, dislikes legend. I wonder what the hell is a legend. I feel like I feel like I'm one thing. I'm, I'm a musician that loves what he's doing, and I appreciate the people when they come to hear me. If that's a legend, then maybe so them. For Junior, it's always suit and tie. After 50 years playing, he wouldn't feel right if he didn't look sharp on stage. 50% of 100% is your appearance, the other 50% is your music. And I learned one thing, that if you're gonna be a musician, these go to work and look like one. Not go to look like a bomb, and that's not me. I'm not going that way, I can't do it. His side men are sharp as his suits, awesome. Because, I mean, you know, it's like um, most people thinking that uh, it's just black people have the blues. Everybody has the blues. All nationality people have the blues. We might not express it in the same way, but we got blues. If you got any kind of troubles, period, that's the blues. Any problems, that's blues. So who doesn't have it? Junior Wells, blues for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Take me I'd love to have been there.